Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solar Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. So for this video, we're gonna, it's gonna get a little bit personal for a minute because I have been going through some things and found my whole mood completely sink and in that kind of process I have discovered and have had a like revelation about myself and my thought processes and I feel like it will relate to a lot of people because we tend to kind of do the same things so we're going to talk about when you kind of spiral into like a bad mood and almost depression really because I feel like that's kind of what it was for me anyway is especially because I've experienced depression before so I know what it feels like and it was starting to go in that kind of direction and I realized for myself it starts with some kind of situation happening and then the way my thoughts start to analyze that situation or like something happens and now you're waiting for the next thing like you're waiting for the next outcome and you don't know what the outcome is going to be so these thoughts start coming up that are always negative and based in fear because that's essentially what our ego is designed to do is to keep us safe so when there's trouble when there's something that is uncertain it's gonna go to the fear it's gonna go to all of these outcomes and possibilities of like the worst possible thing that could happen because it wants to keep you safe and it can't keep you safe if it doesn't know what's gonna happen you know so it's trying to like analyze and work out what could happen so that it can come up with the best way to avoid that situation so all of these negative things come up and it starts over analyzing and being extremely negative and unhelpful <laughs> when it comes to your own inner peace. And then for me, I notice that I will stop eating or I will start eating junk food, but I will stop eating like the fruit and vegetables and stuff that I've been eating before. Like my whole um, approach to food completely changes and I get very emotionally attached to sugar and things so I end up eating more dairy and eating more sugar and especially desserts because I just love them so that starts to happen and then along with that because obviously when you start eating shit you start feeling shit so along with that my mood falls further and I don't feel like working out I don't feel like meditating I don't feel like going for walks like all of the self-care practices that I would normally do just kind of go out the window and stop happening because now I'm in a low vibration I'm not feeling very good and then that then makes you feel worse and then you stop doing all of the things that would raise your vibration so then you start feeling even worse and it kind of spirals so then your thoughts get more negative because now you're not feeling good you're not taking care of yourself so all you're really going to think about is how shit you already feel and then that starts to make you feel worse so I've just noticed this whole spiraling pattern of what actually happens because I always say about we spiral or I spiral and like our emotions fluctuate and all of this stuff but it's only just occurred to me through observing my own thoughts and my own behavior what actually happens to create that spiral to even happen you know what actually even triggers it and then what allows it to continue so in that experience I then realized holy shit this is all of the bad habits that I get stuck into whenever I don't feel good or whenever I don't know the outcome of a situation this is what I tend to do it's almost like a trauma response or a triggered reaction that was how I was handling this situation so now I can start to change those habits but sometimes it can feel like changing habits is a punishment or a chore or like something negative and to stress about and beat yourself up over and that's why I feel like we don't really tend to actually implement them and change them until we really want them badly enough until like we want it so much because it's going to make us feel good but when we look at it and we feel negative or we think of that thing that new habit in a negative light we're not gonna 
feel the desire or the inspiration to go and change it and do it, you know, because you're perceiving it in a negative way. And why would you want to do something that makes you feel negative? So I feel like you have to reach a certain point where you think about that thing and it excites you to want to do it. Like the spark of inspiration and a boost makes you want to actually do it and then you'll stick with it. So for me, I hit the low point of feeling miserable for a few weeks and then I got to the point where I was like okay I can't do this anymore like I actually hate feeling this shit so what what habits am I doing that's causing this and this is when I started to analyze it and then I actually wrote down a full list of how I was feeling like I literally listed every single negative emotion and negative thing about my life or about my body or about myself that I was feeling. So like my skin was breaking out because I wasn't eating good. So I wrote that down. And then I wrote things about like feeling tired and exhausted all the time and having no motivation and no inspiration to do anything, even though I love what I do. I just lost that spark. So I was writing all of these things down. And then I wrote another list of how I want to feel, everything about how I wanted to feel, like inspired, motivated, happy, you know, fulfilled, um, just all of these like positive things that I really wanted to have more of in my life. And then once I had those two lists, it was like, okay, what changes now do I need to make to go from the negative ones that I'm feeling, how I'm feeling currently, to how I want to feel? Like what things do I actually have to change and then I started making those changes so I was waking up earlier instead of waking up at bloody 10 or 11 o'clock and going to bed at like one in the morning or something I set my alarm for 5 a.m which I know is a little bit extreme but (laughs) I knew I wouldn't actually get up at five so I set it for five to make sure that I get up for like seven or eight (laughs) and it's been working I have to say it's been working so I like wrote down all of these new changes that I needed to make so now I can gradually start to implement them and within the first day I felt so much better just by waking up a bit earlier which is kind of crazy when you think about it because I feel like when you're in the depression or when you're feeling anxious or uncertain or whatever it may be it's very hard to imagine yourself making any change that's going to help you like even if you looked at waking up earlier as being a good thing it's hard to actually see the real benefit or transformation that it will create because you're so caught up in feeling low that you don't feel like anything is going to make a difference in how you feel like it it doesn't feel like a simple thing as eating more fruit is gonna change your mood and change your outlook on life but it really does that have that level of an impact but when you're in it and you're feeling low it doesn't feel like it's ever gonna make a difference you know rather than like what lifestyle do I want what partner do I want like what's that gonna look like I feel like it's actually even better to write how you want to feel because how you want to feel is gonna change everything to do with your reality and how you interact with it so instead of worrying about like what job you want and what this what that externally the first thing to do when it comes to changing your habits and your routines is how you want to actually feel because then you can really get clear on the kinds of habits that you need in order to feel good because it's going to be different for everyone like not everyone's going to want to wake up at 5 a.m not everyone's going to want to meditate every day and not everyone's going to want to go for a walk every day but what works for you is going to be what makes you feel good you know and also It's going to help you get clear on what negative habits you need to change because you'll be able to see which negative habits are causing you to feel those negative things that you've just listed out. Like you'll list out how you're feeling and then look at, okay, what is it that's making me feel this way? Like, what am I doing that's making me feel unhappy? What am I doing that's causing my skin to break out? You know, and you can actually uncover the the action behind the physical manifestation because of course everything starts in the mind first then it becomes a physical action then it becomes an actual physical experience so you need to like backtrack it and change it from the root which is your thoughts then your actions your emotions and all of those other things so 
yeah, <laughs> I just thought I would share my own personal experience on that because it's something that I dealt with literally over the last few weeks. So I hope it was helpful. Thank you so, so much for listening and watching. I really appreciate you. If you would like a one-to-one -one session with me, I have updated my websites and separated my Zana website from Solar Trip website. So all of my one-to-one -one sessions are now on solartrip.com. I wanted to just separate it because I feel like it was just getting too much and too confusing on one website. <laughs> so now we have Elemental Mirror, Solar Trip, and Zana, all separate. So yeah, everything about me is in the description box below. I really, really appreciate you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, because I do upload four times a week. And also my phone number is in the description box as well. If you have any video suggestions, definitely let me know. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.